Hey guys, back again. It's been a while. We're on this site here. We got a unit making some noise and one of them is showing the smoke detector on the fire panel, which is that unit up there. The unit making noise is right this way. So let's go uh, check it out. All right, here we are. We're on RTU 20. This piece of equipment just does the vestibules. So I don't know if you guys can hear that noise, but uh, she's pretty loud. Let's open it up and see what we got going on. Hmm, that is loud. So we'll shut it down and figure out uh, what part, if it's a bearing or a motor. All right, so remove the belt and um, we'll spin these. We'll spin the blower wheel. Make sure there's no bearings. That's the problem. Pull on it. Yeah, it seems fine. Yeah, no noise there. All right. So now we'll. Yeah, it's got some noise in this motor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's pretty loud. All right. So. We're gonna have to get us a blower motor. That's the problem. So we will uh, send them a quote and get that motor replaced. So now that we know this one, we'll put it all back together and then we'll go down there to number one and see why the smoke detector is in supervisory. Okay, so after looking, I found that the sensor that is in trouble is sensor two. You can hook two sensors to these. Um, sensor one is flashing green. It's kind of hard to see when it does flash. So there is no sensor two in this unit. Sensor two is usually for the supply, but in these particular units, they didn't put one in the supply they just put it in the return so that's sensor one and usually when you have another sensor it's down in this area which they do not have one on this particular model so the issue is sometimes these things get stuck for whatever reason and it wants to sense uh, that it has a second sensor. And there's dip switches up here that you can switch depending on if you're doing one sensor or two sensors. So we'll power this thing down, lock it out, and then we'll get this cover off, check that dip switch, turn it back on, and see if we can get the uh, trouble to go away. If not, we may have to change this uh, module. So let's shut it down and see what we can do. So the dip switches are right in here. If you can see them, you can turn it on for trouble shutdown. So if it goes into a trouble like that, it'll shut the unit down. This is the one for the sensor. So you can go one or two sensor. And this right here, is a tampered delay seven minutes to zero which the tamper delay there's a tamper switch in the sensor here that will sense that if the cover is not on it will go into a trouble so that is not our problem so what i have found is you can go in here and change that dip switch to two turn the power back on so with switching that dip switch to two it's going to go back into a trouble usually i just do this and let it go through its process 
and then switch it back. Sometimes something happens to this dip switch and it tries to read the second sensor. So this is a way I've found to, to fix that. And then it's going to flash like that because it can't sense that sensor. So let's turn the power back off. Switch this disc dip switch again and then see if we can get it to come out of trouble. All right, looks like that cleared it. So we will wait for that to flash green and then we'll give it about seven to eight minutes, make sure that our trouble doesn't come back and then we are good to go. But if this comes back in for this issue, then we're going to have to change this module. Something's going on with it. All right, it's back green. So I'm going to wait about seven to eight minutes and see what we get. All right, everybody. So it's been about seven minutes and it, that trouble has not come back. Everything's flashing green. So we're going to call this one good. So we'll make sure that the fire panel is cleared. If not, we'll have the manager reset it. So we just have to come back to this site for that unit right there. The blower motor that needs to be replaced. And as soon as we get those parts and we're able to come back out here, I will have a video on showing the replacement of that motor. All right, thank you everybody for watching. Keep it H backing.